Hi guys, it is another gloriously rainy night. We're actually past midnight here, so it's technically Wednesday morning, May 28, 2014, by a few minutes. But I'm going to call this Tuesday night, so I can bring you my Tuesday conspiracy, wacky conspiracy rant this week. And this is a fun one, uh, staying up late just to bring you this rant. This is about that giant landslide. Have you seen this thing, guys? My old buddy Dutch Sense, my old wacky conspiracy theorist, uh, Dutch Sense, who I have kind of a love-hate relationship, is uh, running on his channel tonight. I'll put the link to this. This is a 12-minute video with no voiceover. It's just the, a police helicopter flying around this unbelievable, this son of a bitch is four miles long, 250 feet deep. Good God, I sat here with my jaw dropping for, uh, I watched this for the full 12 minutes, but what? Uh, I want to draw your attention to because uh, it's very germane to this story. I'm surprised that Dutch did not break in right about here. Okay, what you're getting ready to see coming in right now. Okay, what this is, and you really need to go on. You're going to have to go on and watch. Go on to the link yourself. What this is is a fracking well where the the slide has come right up to this fracking well uh, by I believe this is Occidental Petroleum uh, so there you go this is uh, for anybody uh, to see a fracking well right at the edge of this and the way I understand these horizontal drillings that they go down there and that the they inject all of this high pressure water and shit all up in this area. And uh, so obviously what Dutch is uh, claiming is that fracking, it is fracking is the obvious uh, explanation for this massive landslide and in Dutch sense is one of the strongest proponents of uh, listen to that rain, don't you love it? To the uh, fracking causing uh, fracking causing earthquakes, and I 100% uh, believe that fracking causes earthquakes. So he's asking asking us to. Uh, to take the next logical step. And I'm going to put, this was the rant that came out uh, Monday night about called Colorado four mile long landslide at fracking site. It's a four minute video and he cuts to the chase here. I'm just going to play the last 20 seconds of it. Uh, so what he does as he loves to do is go on Google Earth and do his little, uh, do, do his little gizmos and his, uh, whatever he does on Google Earth. But what he's implying, at least implying, if not, if not outright claiming, you go away from this video, guys. And I, I've watched this three times. I encourage you to watch this Dutch Sense video because he does a pretty good case based on just what... He talks about here, and make no mistake about it, I despise frackers as much as Dutch Sense does. And uh, so this is the area of the landslide. And so what he does is he keeps, you know, zeroing in, and he certainly leads you to believe, without stating it outright, that several fracking pads, that the entire fracking pads, that three or four 
of these fracking wells were buried, literally are buried under the mud that they have been erased from the face of the planet. Although he's careful never to outright make that claim, that's the way he presents his evidence Let's just listen to Dutch towards the end of this, and I encourage you to watch the rest of it. Take it away, Dutch. Uh, we know the dangers of fracking, and we know fracking does cause earthquakes as they inject that water, and the size of this operation just kind of tells the tale. Okay, so, so what he's implying is that all of these fracking wells here on Google Earth no longer exist that these are buried under the mud is what he seems to be saying to me. Uh, saying it without saying it. Then turn off this tool here. Kind of tells the tale of the amount of gas that they are extracting and, and the amount of water that they are injecting to get that gas. Be safe, folks. So there you go. And of course, uh, he was saying earlier that you better believe that the mainstream media is never going to never going to suggest on any level that uh, that fracking could have had anything to do with this, and I'm and I'm wondering. I I don't think anywhere that Dutch Sense has ever mentioned in this uh, that it has been pouring down rain in Colorado and there has been a heavy snow melt. But anyway, as long as we're on the mainstream media, let's back up to an Associated Press story that I read out on the morning of May 24th, two days before this landslide. Uh, Associated Press as deep snow melts, Colorado wary of another flood. Okay, and I just want to read one paragraph. This paragraph was found in the mainstream media uh, two days before this landslide. There is some evidence the water table, meaning in Colorado, remains high and the ground is still saturated in areas that have flooded, uh, experts said. That could send runoff rushing down canyons instead of soaking into the soil, and it could make hillsides more susceptible to landslides and rockfall. That was written uh, on May 24th, and then they had a, a bunch of damn rain for two days. Gee. Uh, and so what is Associated Press saying five hours ago this evening? Associated Press, landslide danger ends search for three in Colorado. That unbelievably, only three people apparently are are dead in this thing. Okay, so how is AP playing this up today? Authorities braced for the possibility of another landslide in a remote part of western Colorado as they surveyed a massive debris field Tuesday amid dangerously unstable conditions. So, uh, they've given up trying to dig these guys uh, out of this. Okay. Uh, the three men were checking on irrigation problems caused by an initial slide on Sunday when a large chunk of the ridge broke off, sending soggy earth spilling like wet cement. Uh, so they were already, and so what is the main, they were already that the slide was happening. Okay, this is mainstream media. The slide 
most likely was triggered by runoff, meaning rainwater runoff, and probably to a lesser degree by snowmelt from Grand Mesa following two days of strong rain. Two days of strong rain, never mentioned by Dutch sense that it has rained one drop uh, where this slide occurred. So they interviewed this fellow, Jonathan White, a Colorado Geological Survey geologist at the site, said the slide seemed inevitable because of a buildup of water, meaning water falling from the sky, in a depression created by the first slide. Quote, we are having a significant amount of runoff that's flowing into that depression right now. That's a big concern. And so White said uh, it was impossible to predict when, the ne when, not if, when the next slide would occur. And uh, mudslides are common in the region which sits on soft sandstone and layers of weak rock, said state geologist Karen Berry, and the same area saw a spate of these big landslides in the 1980s. Uh, and right now they can't do a damn thing to prevent the next one from happening. The terrain is too unstable for the work necessary to drain the water. And, uh, okay, so then finally we uh, get to the, uh, the first word about frackers. Energy workers are active in the area, part of Colorado's productive Piscianse Basin. Uh, energy companies have suspended operations in the area and wells likely will be offline for an extended period, perhaps months. That fellow White, that, I, that geologist White, said he did not think drilling, meaning fracking, played a part in the slide. So at least the mainstream media reporter, I guess, uh, at least ask the guy, uh, did he think that fracking, and according to this geologist, he was thinking maybe it had more to do uh, with, with the rain. And so then how is Huff Post, Huffington Post is kind of that, I would say Huff Post is halfway between AP and Dutch Sense. What do they have to say? At the second to the last paragraph in their article, <clears throat> energy companies are monitoring oil and gas wells in the area. This was written yesterday before they shut them down. Um, but so far, the mud has only come up to the edge of one pad operated by Occidental Petroleum Corporation. That's the one we just saw in that helicopter thing. The three wells there have been shut down. So those here, uh, these right uh, here have been those right there. Uh, so according to Huff Post, is that this is the only fracking site involved and the mud came right up to it but did not take it out. So there you go. So uh, I'm going to have to do my... And trust me guys, as I say, I despise frackers. So this is your eco-Nazi conspiracy theorist final conclusion. Drum roll please. Dutch, I love you, buddy. You have proven to my satisfaction that fracking causes earthquakes, but you didn't quite make it with, the, with this one. You got so close, and if it had not been raining 
uh, for all weekend if the area was not waterlogged, if the mainstream media had not been warning on May 24th uh, before even fresh rains had been warning of potential landslides in this area before it even started raining for two solid days out there. You might have had me convinced Dutch, but sorry buddy, uh, close but no cigar. Uh, Moses, I, I know I'm going to hear from you tomorrow, but uh, Dutch did not make his case on this one. He did come close, and I, uh, am I 100% off the fence on this one? No. Uh, did fracking contribute quite possibly? Uh, but would that same thing have happened had there been no fracking? If this fracking well had not been there, would that mudslide have ha would have happened? My guess is yes, it would have Dutch with no fracking. I hate to sound like a planet eater. Go back to work, Dutch. We love you, buddy. You wacky conspiracy theorist. You just didn't get it on this one. And with that, I gotta call it a night, guys, on this lovely, beautiful, rainy night in Austin, Texas. Bye, guys.